Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 18. In this video, we're gonna check out working with our Alpha N style fuel strategy. Now the Alpha N is gonna allow us to ignore the map pressure input into our volumetric efficiency table and replace it with throttle position. We might need to do this if we have a radical camshaft installed on our engine that produces really low vacuum or we're working with individual throttle bodies where we give it some throttle input and we have a rapid change in our actual manifold air pressure and we're not able to determine the correct cell point for fueling delivery from our main VE table. So we're gonna take a look at all kinds of different situations we have with our Alpha N and understand what it represents and how to work with it and tune it properly. Without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our Alpha N style tuning in our EMU Black software. Now before we jump into the training tutorial, make sure you have your main tuning page layout open so you can follow along with what I'm gonna show you here in this video. We can find that available under desktops open desktops template, and then here under main tuning. So I'm gonna close that out here. Let's just take a look in our first area right here called general. This is gonna be where we select the type of fueling that we're gonna be working with within our EMU black. So right here we can see fueling type speed density. That's gonna be performing the basic speed density calculations. That's gonna be taking a look at the map pressure sensor, taking a look at the engine RPM in our volumetric efficiency table. We can find that right here. Um, this is just what we've discussed in some previous videos. So it's gonna represent the cylinder filling of the engine, and we're gonna be specifying the volume with a displacement here, and the values within the table are gonna be the percentage of essentially cylinder filling within that volume. Naturally aspirated engines are gonna have values from zero to 100. If we're gonna find force induction engines are gonna be from zero to something like 160, 180 at the top of the scale of usable values that you'll have within your table. Now we're gonna be in the situation in a speed density fuel style calculation mode, where if we're looking at map pressure here on our load axis, and we have an engine that's pulling normal vacuum. Let's say we have a mild cam installed, the engine idles at something like 40 or 50 kPa worth of vacuum, we're gonna find it's gonna be represented about right here in our table. If we have the same engine, we put a really extreme camshaft in that has a lot of duration and a lot of lift, we'll find that all of a sudden the engine vacuum starts to drastically go away and we can find it may not idle here, it might actually pull something like 70 or 80 kPa vacuum. We can find it might idle all the way up here so it's gonna be dropping vacuum as we get more aggressive, more aggressive camshaft design. And what we're gonna find as a byproduct um, of going in and pooling less vacuum, the engine vacuum also may be a little bit unstable, especially if it's a high lift cam we might find that it's bouncing all over the place. So it's gonna be doing a lot of kind of jumping through the table we're gonna find the fuel delivery may not be necessarily repeatable or, um, or consistent when we're trying to dial things in. So if we're using a map pressure based scale here, that could be a disadvantage. We're also gonna find if it has that kind of a large of a cam in it, it may never see here below something like 60 kPa of vacuum. So we may only be working on a naturally aspirated engine here from something like 60 to 100 kPa worth of uh, usable range in the table. And we're gonna find that can cause some drivability problems because the resolution we have is drastically shrunk down. We're no longer seeing 20, 40, 50 kPa. Again, 60 might be the lowest it actually pulls in vacuum where a typical engine with a mild camshaft might pull all the way down below 20 kPa in vacuum reading. So that can be a problem trying to get enough resolution in the table. This would be the same thing of uh, having a camshaft with a large profile like that and having it really shrink down in the usable vacuum range that's gonna be the same kind of concept of scaling our, our fuel table here, or scaling our breakpoint axes with little to no breakpoints. So if we're giving- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.